Hello everybody. So this this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and uh, it's about the uh, the Doctor Who TV movie starring Paul McGann as the Eighth Doctor. Now there are a lot of Doctor Who fans who really don't like this film, you know, because it's too uh, they reckon it's too Americanized. Because this was made as a backdoor pilot for for an American uh, produced uh, Doctor Who series, which didn't happen. I mean, it would have been good if that. It would have been interesting to see that happen. You know, to see more of Paul McGann's Doctor. You know, to see him have his to have a full series. But yeah, because this movie wasn't it wasn't a success. So. This is all we saw of the Eighth Doctor until uh, Night of the Doctor from 2013, that uh, prequel uh, mini episode, which is which is really good, by the way. So my question is, question is though, in retrospect, is this movie really that bad? Is it really as bad as it's made out to be? And this is all a completely subjective thing. And in my opinion, no. I don't think it's as bad as it's made out to be. In fact, I actually love this film. Uh, I originally had this on VHS uh, before... Because I had a load of Doctor Who VHS tapes, you know, I had all the a lot of the classic stories. I had this on VHS as well. I loved it when I first saw it. I've never, I mean, I can somewhat understand why Doctor Who fans don't like it. I mean, because Doctor Who is a British franchise, but this, you know, it's very Americanized. It it's set in America. And the Doctor is really the only British character who's who's in it. But I've got no problem with the American setting. I know a lot of people like to put down Eric Roberts' portrayal of the Master as well. I, I don't think he did too bad of a job, to be honest. You know, I think he was... You know, he's very sinister. I mean, he's not as... He's, he's nowhere near as great as John Sim or Roger Delgado or Anthony Ainley. I mean, those ones are probably the top three masters f for me. But I still think he did a really good job. And Paul McGann was excellent as the Eighth Doctor. And it was good that they brought back Sylvester McCoy as the Seventh Doctor, just for the regeneration scene. And I really liked the companion in this one as well, uh, Grace. I liked her. And uh, the other guy uh, Lee who was basically uh, sort of like the master's henchman he sort of like corrupted he was corrupted by the master and uh, the master basically fed him his lies and telling him that the doctor was in fact the evil one so he tried to get him to help him so yeah Lee did some bad things obviously but he he realized the truth in the end and you know he was rede he was a redeemable character I, re I really like I like to leave. You know, it just it just feels very unique. You know, that's why it's just so different from anything else in the entire Who universe. If you don't know what the Who universe is, Doctor Who universe. I know a lot of people do know that that's what Who universe means, but for those who don't know, it means Do the Doctor Who universe because you've also got Torchwood, you've got the Sarah Jane Adventures. You know, you've got other various spin-offs but yeah that's what makes it so unique there's never been anything else like this in the universe you know I just think it's such a such a, a great film and such a it's just, it's just so unique and I, I think it, I think it holds up to this day you know I think this film has aged I think it's aged pretty well I was what I was I was actually watching this just last night and it's just it's just a fantastic and yeah I honestly, I honestly wish that we 
could have got a full series with Paul McGann. On the other hand, though, I mean, it's probably a good thing we we didn't, because if that had happened, we might not, we might not have got the revival series in two thousand five. You know, with Christopher Eccleston, and then David Tennant, Matt Smith. That may never have happened if if this had had led to a a full, a full series. So I'm kind of I'm kind of grateful that that didn't happen. But at the same time, though, it it would have been really. It would have been interesting. Of course, the Big Finish did, you know, yeah, Big Finish did the audio dramas where Paul McGann, you know, continued to uh, to do the voice of the uh, the Eighth Doctor. But yeah, it would have been good to see more of the Eighth Doctor on screen. But yeah, I I love this movie and. I don't just like this movie as a guilty pleasure. I I genuinely do think that this is a a great a good film, and uh, I I will continue to defend this film. And you know, even though it didn't lead to a it didn't lead to a full series, it would have been good if they could have made a sequel, you know, a follow up to this. You know, it would have been good to just see more adventures with the Eighth Doctor. Of course, I, I really, I just really love the Eighth Doctor. You know, I mean, if you thought Christopher Eccleston, ha Christopher Eccleston's uh, run as the Ninth Doctor was short, Paul McGann's run was even was was even shorter. But yeah, I I love this film and. I personally don't really have anything bad to say about it, except maybe the line where uh, where the Doctor says, I'm half human on my mother's side. Maybe we didn't... Yeah, that was a bit of a throwaway line, which we probably didn't need. But apart from that, though, I, I just enjoy this film thoroughly. I, I just love it. So, but let me know what you think of this film. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I mean... All opinions are welcome, but just just keep them just keep the comments civil, though. So I hope you enjoyed this this video topic, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.